this is up my plan. This is bullshit. Okay? This, these ass, this, these ass, the is their problem, man? What's up guys, Sal here. So Samsung launched the world's first Infinity O display smartphone in China today called the Galaxy A8s. As you can see, for a mid-range device, this smartphone looks good, though the hole is big and very noticeable. By the way, the hole on the Galaxy S10 will be a lot smaller. Anyway, Samsung did one thing on this device that really pissed me off and that's removing the headphone jack. By the way, this is not the first time that Samsung dished the headphone jack on their devices. Their luxury flip phones that they've been releasing in China have been coming out without a headphone jack. Like I've said a few days ago, that Samsung China is not the Samsung we know and love. So I'm not really surprised that they removed the headphone jack on this device. Look, if this device is only limited to China, then I have absolutely no problem whatsoever. Do whatever you want in that country. But Samsung, if you decide to launch this in the rest of the world and still won't include the headphone jack, then that will be a problem. A lot of your fans still care about this little thing, so don't be stupid and follow this ridiculous trend. Some people are saying that Samsung might keep the headphone jack in their flagships as a premium feature and slowly ditch it in all of their mid-range or budget phones. Which doesn't make much sense to me because people who can buy a thousand dollar phone can also buy a good pair of Bluetooth headphones. Generally people who opt to go for a mid-range device doesn't want to spend extra on wireless headphones. So removing the jack from a mid-range device doesn't make much sense. Maybe it's Samsung's way of telling us that they might consider getting rid of the headphone jack in their future flagships as well, which I hope would never happen. It would certainly elicit a much stronger response from its fan base if it decides to make this decision for its flagship smartphones as well. Again, if this device doesn't end up releasing elsewhere other than China, then we're absolutely cool. If they launch it in other countries but with headphone jack, then that's great. But if it indeed comes without the headphone jack in the rest of the countries, then that's a problem and I'll probably lose some respect for them. You can't mock someone and do the exact same thing. That's hypocritical. And Samsung, don't become one. I'm probably your biggest fan. Please don't let me down. Anyway, on the brighter side, the Galaxy S10 for sure will have a headphone jack. We have multiple case leaks and official CAD renders to confirm the existence of 3.5mm headphone jack and that's a huge relief. For anyone who owns a bunch of different gadgets like I do, the headphone jack is a far better solution than lugging a bunch of dongles around. So I really hope Samsung sticks with it for at least a few more years. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments and as always, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.